unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies. It remains, never becomes more. But if it dies, it produces many others. Its life is reproduced, yields a rich harvest. That life which it possesses, that it releases in death, is released in resurrection. He was that sinless, spotless grain of wheat who came to be planted by his father at Calvary. He came into this world as God incarnate to live that quality of life that allowed of no explanation but the Father in the Son, without whom, said he, I can do nothing. But having for 33 years demonstrated in the sinlessness of that humanity all that he is God intended when he first made man, he could have gone back to heaven to be there forever, alive. Because death is the wages of sin. Though only a man in his sinlessness, he could have gone back to heaven and left us with nothing but the example of a beautiful life that could only mock us in our attempt to imitate him as the law can only mock us in our attempt to fulfill its demand. But if it died, said the Lord Jesus, if I'm prepared on your behalf to forfeit that life that man lost in Adam and allow my Father in resurrection to restore that life to me, that life released through my death in resurrection will be shared with you. He died that we might be forgiven, but he lives to restore to us that life for which man was made. But you see, there's not only a cross for him, but there's a cross for you and a cross for me. Unless we're prepared to die to what we are, we will never, ever become what we were intended to be. But that life that is yours now by virtue of who he is, living where he does in your heart, is a life that's to be released through death. That that life, his life, might be released in resurrection, shared with others. chosen me. I've chosen you. I have appointed you that you might bear fruit and keep on bearing and that your fruit may be lasting.